welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat chari karti bari bharti sanjari harti leelaya विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम यो खिलन जगत चरी करति बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया इन दिस कोर्स वी आर फोकस्ड ऑन द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ समास इन संस्कृत नेमली द अव्ययी भाव समास बहुव्रीही समास एंड द द्वंद्व समास Amongst them, currently we are studying the Bahuvrihi Samasa. This is an extremely important type of Samasa in Sanskrit. The structure of the Bahuvrihi Samasa can be briefly shown in the form of an equation showed on this particular slide, where we have x and y as two independent entities, independent and separate in terms of the word form as well as the meaning and the accent the plus sign in between shows that they are interrelated now the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge them together and form a generated output in the form of xy which is one unit so xy is one unit in terms of the word form as well as the meaning as well as accent so xy in general has got three features namely aikarthya or ekarthata aikapadya or ekapadata and aikasvarya or ekasvarata to be very specific with the bahuvrihi samasa that we are studying when x and y are the input the constituents and xy is one unit output generated the interrelation between the constituents and the output generated can be easily shown as far as the avyayi bhava and tatpurusha samasa these two samasas are concerned we showed the bold characters we showed the head of the unit xy with the bold characters so in the tatpurusha samasa the equation had y in bold characters because in the tatpurusha samasa y occupies the position of the head of the samasa in the avyayi bhava samasa x occupies the position of the head so it was also shown in the bold characters now in the bahuvrihi samasa we have not shown any of them in the bold characters precisely because of the fact that neither x nor y acts as the head of xy so something outside of xy namely z for example acts as the head of xy which is very very peculiar now the bahuvrihi samasa is dealt with in the ashtadhyayi the core of the paninian grammar and the paninian grammatical tradition at various places for example the samasa vidhayaka sutras are stated from 2.2.23 onwards up to 2.2.28 2.2.23 is shesho bahuvrihi and 2.2.28 is tena saheti tulya yoge 2.2.29 is charthe dvandvah a sutra prescribing the dvandva samasa in the sense of ch arth this is a small section of samasa vidhayaka sutras the samasa antapratyas are stated in 
5.4 beginning with samasantaha 5.4.68 now the samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras as far as the bahuvrihi samasa is concerned are grouped in the section 5.4.113 onwards up to 5.4.160 this is a very big section and the peculiarity of this big section is that not all the sutras prescribe the samasanta pratyaya as such some of the sutras prescribe the samasanta adesha which we shall delineate in in the process of studying the bahuvrihi samasa and then the swara vidhayaka sutras they are stated in 6.2 notably 6.2.1 which says bahuvrihau prakritya purva padam and then from 6.2.106 up to 6.2.120 this is one section and from 62162 onwards up to 62177 this is the other section that deals with the swara vidhayaka sutras this is how the bahurihi samasa is dealt with in the ashtadhyayi right now we have already studied the samasa vidhayaka sutra shesho bahurihi and we are studying the next very important samasa vidhayaka sutra anekam anya padarthe this is 2.2.24 we have already studied part of anekam anya padarthe let us continue studying it further there are two padas in the sutra anekam anya padarthe anekam is prathama ekavachanam 1/1 which means more than 1 and so on account of the sutra of the word anekam in the sutra the upasarjana saudnya takes place on account of the sutra prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam and then we have anya padarthe which is saptami ekavachana which means in the sense of the other pad that is out of the compound different than the constituents words continued are sup from 212 sahasupa from 214 samasaha from 213 and samartha padavidhi from 211 after having put all these together the meaning of the sutra that we get is as follows more than one interrelated subantas ending in the first triplet that is prathamantam in the sense of the meaning of the other or outer word get compounded and the resultant compound is called bahuvrihi i repeat more than one interrelated subantas ending in the first triplet prathamantam in the sense of the meaning of the other outer word get compounded and the resultant compound is called bahuvrihi i repeat more than one interrelated subantas anekam samartham subantam ending in the first triplet prathamantam in the sense of the meaning of the other outer word anya padarthe get compounded samasyate and the resultant compound samasaha is called bahuvrihi bahuvrihi we also note that the interrelation between the constituent subantas is co-referentiality or samanadhikaranya and the interrelation between the constituent subantas and the outer head word is that of the meaning of the vibhaktis except the meaning of the prathama prathamarthetu na bhavati that is the statement of the commentators this is extremely important and we have seen examples where the meaning of the various vibhaktis act as the interrelation between the constituent subantas and the anya padartha now here is a peculiar case when the meaning is one who went when it rained vrishte deve yah gatah sah so in this case the traditional commentators argue that there is vrishte and deve both are in the same vibhakti saptami vibhakti and both of them do not refer to themselves 
they refer to something else out of the compound that is the head that is anya padartha so we have vrishte deve yah gatah saha this is the laukika vigraha and we are supposed to derive the finally derived compound output vrishta deva but this is not derivable as a bahubrihi samasa this is what the traditional commentators have noted down and the reason they have provided is anavidhanat because that is not how the speakers of sanskrit have behaved they have not compounded vrishta deva in this particular sense vrishte deve yah gatah nahi vrishte deve gatah iti vakya diyartha pratiyate sa vrishta deva shabdat pratiyate therefore vrishta deva cannot be the samasa output from vrishte deve yah gatah saha this is a very important comment made by the commentators and the reasoning also is provided by them over here now in this particular lecture we shall study another very crucial aspect of anekam anya padarthe so far we have been studying the examples of anekam anya padarthe in such a manner where there are only two subantas now let us proceed further and see what is the significance of anekam the significance of anekam is that bahu naam api yathasyat as the traditional commentators say even more than two subantas can also get compounded as bahubrihis even more than two subantas can be get compounded simultaneously and here are some examples let us try to see how they get dissolved they get generated so first one is susukshma jatakeshena sugaja jina vasasa quoted in the vyakarana mahabhashya of the great patanjali also chitra jarati guhu and dirgha tanvi jangha these are some of the examples where anekam subantam is samasyate so more than two subantas have compounded simultaneously so let us see how the samasa susukshma jatakeshena gets formed when the meaning to be denoted is by one who has extremely minute braid and hair we have the form susukshma jatakeshena now the laukika vigraha over here is the following sushtu sukshmah jatah keshah yasya sah this is the laukika vigraha sushtu sukshmah jatah keshah yasya sah sushtu is the meaning of su sukshma is the meaning of sukshma jat and kesh they both appear also in the laukika vigraha sushtu sukshmah jatah keshah yasya sah now this samasa refers to somebody who is out of the compound and susukshma jatakesh becomes the qualification of that out of compound entity which is masculine in gender now the alaukika vigraha is su plus su plus sukshma plus jas plus jata plus jas plus kesh plus jas so there are now four brackets within the one big pair of the square brackets so there are four padas which are getting compounded simultaneously su plus su plus sukshma plus jas plus jata plus jas and finally kesha plus jas so now by the sutra anekam anya padarthe the samasa saudhnya takes place and so pratipadika saudhnya takes place and so we apply supo dhatu pratipadika yoho and so we have su plus 0 plus sukshma plus 0 plus jata plus 0 plus kesha plus 0 after having deleted all the sups so when we join all of them together we get the form susukshma jata kesha as the finally derived bahubrihi compound output now when we use the word susukshma jata kesha in the sentence for example when we want to add the tritiya ekavachana we add the suffix ta after it so we have susukshma jata kesha plus ta and then by applying the sutra tangasinga saminatsyaha 
we get susukshma jata kesha plus ina and then by doing the guna sandhi we get susukshma jata kesha na next is sugaja jina vasasa the meaning to be conveyed over here is by one who has the elephant skin as the cover sugaja jina vasasa so the laukika vigraha over here is sushtu gajajinam vasaha yasya saha sushtu gajani gajajinam vasaha yasya saha so the alaukika vigraha is su plus su plus gajajina plus su plus vasas plus su so there are three padas getting simultaneously compounded now the sub- samasa saudnya takes place then the pratibadika saudnya takes place after that supodhatu pratibadika yoho applies and deletes all the sups so we have su plus 0 plus gajajina plus 0 plus vasas plus 0 and then we join all of them together and we get the finally derived bahuvrihi compound output namely sugajajina vasas when we y- use it in the sentence we add the tritiya ekavachana pratyaya ta after it so we have sugajajina vasas plus ta and we get the finally derived form sugajajina vasasa sugajajina vasasa now let us take the next example which means one who possesses colored and old cow chitra jarati gaur yasya saha chitra jarati gaur yasya saha this is the laukika vigraha and so the alaukika vigraha over here is chitra plus su plus jarati plus su plus go plus su there are three subandas getting compounded simultaneously now because of the sutra anekam anya padarthe the samasa saudnya takes place therefore pratipadika saudnya takes place and then we apply the sutra supodhatuk pratipadika yoho and so now we get chitra plus 0 plus jarati plus 0 plus go plus 0 when we join them together we get chitra plus jarati plus go and now the word go appears at the end of this bahuvrihi samasa where all the constituent padarthas are subordinate to the anya padartha so the word go becomes upasarjana and then goes triyo upasarjanasya and we get the shortening of the word go in gu so we have chitra plus jarati plus gu so the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output is chitra jarati gu when we decide to use it in the sentence we add su pratyaya after it which is prathama ekavachana pratyaya so we have chitra jarati gu plus su and finally derived output is chitra jarati gu similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is one who has too long and slender thighs so the laukika vigraha is dirghe tan vyau jangha yasya saha and so here the alaukika vigraha is dirgha plus au plus tanvi plus au plus jangha plus au now anekam anya padarthe says that this is the bahuvrihi samasa so samasa saudnya takes place and this alaukika vigraha then becomes the pratipadika and then supodhatu pratipadika yoho applies and deletes all the supratyayas so we have dirgha plus 0 plus tanvi plus 0 plus jangha plus 0 so when we bring all this together we get dirgha tanvi jangha and now because this is a, a subordinate this is a bahuvrihi samasa so it becomes a visheshana and the visheshya over here is masculine and therefore now the shortening of the form jangha happens so we have jangha dirgha tanvi plus jangha and then we join them together and we get the finally derived bahuvrihi samasa output in the form of dirgha tanvi jangha 
Now when we decide to use it in the sentence, we add the pratyaya su to it. So we get dirghatanvi jangha plus su and finally we get dirghatanvi janghaha. This is how more than two subantas simultaneously get compounded and the Pahurihi Samasa output is generated. Now there is a statement in the tradition which says that Bahuvrihi Samanadhi Karananam Iti Vaktavyam. What it means is that the Bahuvrihi Samasa is generated from the Subantas which are interrelated through co-referentiality. Now their meaning may be different but they are referring to one and the same entity. This is what the word Samanadhi Karana stands for. Therefore, the Bahuvrihi Samasa is not generated when the Subantas are not interrelated through co-referentiality, when they are referring to two different referents, Vedhi Karananam Bahuvrihi Mabhut, for example, Panchavir Bhuktam Asya, whose food is eaten by five. Here both Panchan as well as Bhukta are referring to two different entities and are not referring to one and the same entity. And therefore, in this case, Bahuvrihi Samasa cannot be done as there is no Samarthya of that kind. Similarly, the next statement made by the tradition is Avyayanam cha Bahuvrihir Vaktavya. Since the indeclinables also get compounded with other interrelated Subantas, to generate the Bahuvrihi Samasa, the need for this statement arises because the indeclinables refer to different reference. And so this is an example of the Vyadhikarana Bahuvrihi Samasa. Here is an example. When the meaning to be conveyed is one whose face is above, Uchaihi Mukham Yasya Saha. Here Uchaihi is an avyaya and it denotes the substratum Adhikarana Shakti Pradhanatvat Vayadhikaranyat Vachanam. So Uchaihi Mukham Yasya Saha. So now we have Uchaihi plus Su plus Mukha plus Su as the Alaukika Vigraha and because of the Sutra Anekamanya Padarthe, the Samasa Saudhnya takes place and then Pratipadika Saudhnya will take place and then Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho will apply and will delete both the Sups. So we have Uchaihi plus zero plus Mukha plus zero and then we join them together and we get the form Uchaihi Mukha that is Uchair Mukha that is the finally derived Bahurihi Samasa output generated by this particular process Uchair Mukha. When we decide to use it in the sentence we add the suffix Su so we have Uchair Mukha plus Su and then we get the form Uchair Mukha which is used in the sentence. To summarize, the Bahubrihi Samasa is not generated in the sense of the Prathama Vibhakti when the Anya Padartha is denoted by the Prathama form of the pronoun Yad namely Yaha, Ya, Yad, Vrishte Deve, Yaha Gataha there is no Bahuvrihi Samasa generated. And the reasoning provided is Anabhidhanat. Because such a phenomenon has never occurred in Sanskrit. Sanskrit speakers have never spoken like that. They have never done Bahuvrihi Samasa when the Laukika Vigraha consists of the Prathama Vibhakti of Yaha, Yad. The other important point to remember over here is that the Bahuvrihi Samasa is generated from two or more than two subantas. This is on account of the word anekam. This is not the case with tatpurusha as well as avyayi bhava. The necessary condition is that these subantas should be related through co-referentiality or samanadhi karanya. They should be samanadhi karana. They both should refer to one and the same referent or entity in the context.
and should be in the same case, assuming that their meanings are different. The Bahubrihi Samasa is not generated when the Subantas are not co-referential, that is when they are Vedhikarana, primarily because that is not how, because that is how the speakers have Sanskrit have spoken the language Sanskrit. We continue studying the Samasa Vidhayaka Sutras in the Ashtadhyayi in the coming lecture. These are the texts referred to. Thank you very much.